This is how I learned to make out a bottle <laughs> So this is how I learned how to make a bottle egg slide. This is how... <laughs> hey Tony, how did you learn how to make a bottleneck slide? <laughs> This is how I learned how to make a bottleneck slide. <laughs> Let me get this here. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Check it out, dude. Wee! Wait a second. I'm gonna focus that. Dude, that was a pretty clean cut. <laughs> no, it's not. That's the little metal part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, seriously. Here's how you make a bottleneck slide. First, I'll tell you what you need. You need a bottle. I like to use wine bottles, uh, preferably these green glass types that slope a little bit like that. Uh, you need a candle. So it matches to light the candle. One of these three-pronged glass cutter things, but I tape it right there, and you'll see why in a minute. Some sandpaper and some band-aids, just in case. We're gonna get the uh, the glass cutter. It's actually an etcher, it's not really a cutter. And you want to get, uh, you want to first measure exactly where your pinky or whatever finger you're going to use comes to. Mine comes to about there. You know, take this in your hand like this. This is why I've taped it right here so that three prongs don't really uh, hurt your finger. You're going to want to get as straight a line around this thing as possible. It'll take you a few times getting it. But So here we go. So for those in the cheap seats, he's holding the etcher in one spot and he is rotating the bottle. There we go. Nice. That Pretty nice straight cut. Melon. Okay. Oh, you're going to need a, a cold water source too. Right here it's going to be the uh, just the sink water. Alright. And we're going to take, well, we're going to take the, uh, the bottle and you're going to Put the candle, you're going to put the flame right on that etch mark because you want to get the glass good and hot right there. It's hotter up toward the top of the flame. And while I'm getting that good and hot, I'm going to be getting the water good and cold. So I'm going to let that run. Good and cold. Because once this is hot, we're going to run it under the cold water. And the theory is that it breaks at its weakest point. And the weakest point is where that etch mark is, right? So it's getting good and hot, good and hot. I think it's about ready. Let's hope so. Here we go. Ah, and I heard a little crack mark, which means it's definitely I heard a little crack sound. So it's definitely ready to go. Um then I just tap it. I'm going to go to the floor and tap it. Ba-bam. There you go. Alright, I'm going to dry it off and get rid of this carbon that was deposited on the top there. All right. Now, I'm simply going to sand it down. I like to push it away from... What I'm doing is I'm at an angle, just going down and away, away, like that. And then I'm also going to do this 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 lethal edge right here. Just going to do it like that. And to uh, flatten it out a little bit more, I'm going to just put it completely flat down and push away. Turn it a little bit, push away, turn it a little bit, like that. And now I'm going to just really get in there. I'm going to get the inside to go in this. Alright, that looks 
pretty good. Wash it off. Dry it off. How about we try it out? Bottleneck slide. <laughs>